Hello, I'm Dr. Cameron and today I'm going to show you how to do a proper IV cannulation. I'm going to proceed and I would like you to observe me to see how it's properly done. Thank you. Since the procedure has been explained and consent taken, I would check the identity of the patient, introduce myself um, and then proceed with the examination. After that, I will prepare my clean tray. First of all, I will clean my tray. Make sure to go into the crevices of the tray to clean it up. And then I will throw it away in the clinical waste bin. After that, start preparing my tray, gloves, alcohol swab, tegadum, this goes in the clinical waste bin, flush, tape, cotton, a bit of gauze, either a pink or a green cannula, whichever you want. according to the patient's ease and most importantly a tourniquet. So that's our tray prepared for IV cannulation. After that I'll go to the patient and see if he's got any good veins. Yes he's got one here. I will put the tonicate under the patient's arm, ask him to pump his hand for a bit for his veins to get a bit prominent. Meanwhile I'll quickly glove myself Then palpate the vein I saw before. Take the alcohol swab. Give it a good clean. Take the cannula. And let the patient know of a sharp scratch before you go in. So sharp scratch. You will see a flashback over here and that will show that the cannula is in. After that, move the cannula very nicely in and keep a hold of the needle. Make sure to place your gauze under the patient's arm to not make a mess around the blood. After that, you need to remove the tonicate and remove this Put your hand over here so that the patient doesn't bleed too much. Throw this away and cap the cannula. Ask the patient to keep very stable. Take the flush. Open the top part of the cannula and flush the cannula. After that, take the tonicate, uh, uh, take the tegaderm, place it on the top of the cannula, and the last thing would be labeling the cannula, put the date, the time and your signature on the cannula. Okay, thank you very much. This is the process of cannulation. 
and I hope you learnt and enjoyed it. Thank you. Okay, so that was the process of cannulation, but please make sure that you put all of the waste that has been created into the yellow clinical waste bin and also always put the sharps in the sharp bin. So this is the most important part. If you do not put your sharps in the sharps bin, uh, this can, for medical students, you will fail this station, uh, but in general life, it's very uh, harmful for uh, other people. It's a, it's a risk to other people, so other people can have needle stick injuries. You yourself can have a needle stick injury if it's lying all over, or it can be forgotten somewhere, and someone else going through that place can have a needle stick injury, and blood can spread all sorts of diseases. So it's very important that you always put your sharps in the sharp spin and always clean, uh, clean the, the stuff that has been left in the tray should be put in the clinical waste bin. Thank you very much.